Let's go, Couch Potatoes, Rebel said with a smirk. It will take running and a lot of hard work, but add motivation and we'll win the next fight. Bongo grunted and pouted, but knew they were right. Today on Storytime, we're going to be reading The Candy Calamity by Brave Books and Zuby. The deserted desert was a hot, empty place, a hideout for pirates, this wide open space. A gorilla named Bongo walked holding his tummy, aching and longing for anything yummy. On the edge of the desert, in a small, cozy spot lived a caravan of camels who enjoyed being hot. One camel, called Kubi, invited Team Brave to come to his house with a smile and a wave. Kubi welcomed his friends. Bongo strolled to the couch. He sat and said, Groovy, pulling snacks from his pouch. Valor vibed with the music that Kubi had made. On the obstacle course, Rebel stayed out and played. Carter the camel raced in, yelling, Dude, Lester the pirate stole most of our food. Bongo slurped and then burped, preparing for war. Don't worry, we'll help, as he waddled to the door. The pirates were in and out, fast as a whip. In Lester's amazing new sand sailing ship, they grabbed the camel's food, supplies, and tarps, too. But when Lester saw Bongo, he sang to his crew, Watch out, me hearties. Don't jump down below. Load up the cannons and give them a show. We can't beat Team Brave in a fight hand to hand, but our ship can outrun them on the hot yellow sand. Valor called out, Don't let them escape. But Bongo, he realized, was too out of shape. He grabbed for the ship, then fell to the sand, and Lester sailed off across the vast land. Bongo and Valor returned in defeat. The girl sank down as he ate something sweet. Valor was tired and his fur was all sandy. Bongo just sat there, nom nom nom, eating his candy. What did I miss? Rebel asked with a frown. Valor said, pirates attacked this small town. Lester stole half the town's food and supplies. Bongo mumbled through treats. We did our best, guys. No, we've been lazy, Valor said with conviction. We cannot win fights with a candy addiction. They counted on us and we let them all down. We must learn to do better to save their sweet town. Let's go, Couch Potatoes, Rebel said with a smirk. It will take running and a lot of hard work, but add motivation and we'll win the next fight. Bongo grunted and pouted, but knew they were right. Week after week, they hit the course every day, but Bongo kept dreaming of a candy buffet. Soon, with some help from Kubi's good guiding, they were bouncing and leaping, swinging and sliding. Every day, Kubi made them a warm cactus dinner. The food wasn't sweet, but Bongo's belly got thinner. Valor and Bongo took breaks for meals every day, while Rebel stayed out, preferring to play. After some time, Bongo's muscles grew big. He swung and moved fast, did some zags and some zigs. He even beat Rebel as they raced through the town. But when he looked back, she had black falling down. My strength is all gone, Rebel trembled and panted. Valor lifted her head. Don't take food for granted. You didn't stop playing when we needed to eat. Without food for fuel, of course you'll be beat. Rebel, said Bongo, remember our goal. Not just to run fast, but to have self-control. Eating nothing will hurt you. Overeating will too. Kubi's fixed us a meal. Let's get some for you. They helped Rebel inside for a good, healthy lunch. It was just what she needed. She ate a whole bunch. 
They then heard the beat of an odd little tune. The drum of a pirate ship crossing the dune. Bongo let loose a laugh. I'm ready this time. Lester needs a good weapon for his piratey crime. We've got this rebel. Take care and rest here. He and Valor dashed out as the huge ship came near. We be stealing supplies for a big master plan. If Team Brave cannot stop us, then nobody can. Lester laughed, har, 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 not realizing the fact that Team Brave wasn't weak. They'd now become jacked. This time, Bongo and Valor chased the ship with ease. They caught the ropes and climbed the hole. It was such a breeze. Once on board the ship, they fought side by side till every last pirate had run off to hide. Valor grabbed the food. The pirates were done. Lester cowered and squealed. Ouchie, my drum! Defeated, Lester and his pirate crew sailed away. Because of Team Brave, they no longer could stay. The camels had no reason to fear Lester's gang. Bongo flexed his muscles as he called out and sang, You pirates are rude, and you started this feud. Why'd you conclude you can steal all our food? If you try to intrude, you'll be barbecued. You don't like our crew? Okay, dude. They returned all the food once the pirates have fled. The cactus and fruit, the peanuts and bread. They thank Kubi for helping them all reach their goal by teaching them a lesson on health and self-control. They gathered together for a dinner so nice, celebrating with dessert. Bong ate just one slice. He knew staying healthy was the sweetest of treats. Tasting victory was better than anything he could eat.